well that worked we've uh, got a fish of some description hey guys welcome back to fish coin my name's josh and today is all about the shoreline showdown i'm here at baker's beach tasmania australia and i'll be challenging one of tasmania's finest they all know him here in tassie as hooch and we'll be fishing three different beach locations one hour at a time all fish species count all sizes count all legal fishing methods and uh, everything will be scored on our new fish coin app if you haven't got the app yet check out the description in this video there's a link there that'll take you straight to the app on the app store and uh, create your profile and start collecting your points today now it's going to be a cumulative score so all three beach areas score combined will win and we'll win a great prize from one of our partners the fisherman shed in Hobart Tasmania so uh, weather is looking absolutely brilliant it's warm tides just turning and uh, let the battles begin hooch you're going down right, let's go meet hooch there he is G'day Josh how are you mate this is uh we have Tasmania's finest right here. Oh, I don't know about that. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you again. Now, uh, tell me what, what species we're going to target today. What can we catch today? Well, that's the thing with fishermen. We're always uh, positive and we're always confident. So, obviously, flathead. Uh, so, flathead should be pretty uh, reasonably good chance. King George whiting, Australian salmon, down past those rocky sections there, if we can get... Uh, knee deep in some water we might be a chance for a trevally but sometimes in the channels behind us the oh. trevally will uh yeah but it's a pretty eclectic mix of what should be out here and it's looking pretty good the conditions so mate uh we might catch nothing <laughs> we might i'm gonna catch some i don't know about you oh i hope i catch something <laughs> but just for those people that don't know hooch um what do you do mate what what's your Ah, so uh, currently I am the, and, and for three years, it's a three year contract, I am the public engagement officer for Tarfish. Now Tarfish is the, I suppose we are the peak body, uh, a non-government uh, peak body. We are, we are a um, not-for-profit organisation that represents recreational fishing in Tasmania. Not freshwater, uh, saltwater fishing. So that's what Tarfish uh, is and that's what we do. Nice. Now uh, you're not really competitive, are you? Or? Well... I am. I'm a game fisherman from uh, yesteryear. We haven't done too many competitions of late. We are going to do a couple more this year, but I do find that once we actually get to the stage of entering a competition and going through the motions of the planning and the execution, I really get quite uh, involved in that. So this morning I put together a little bag of tricks. What are you using today? Well, I didn't want... yesterday <laughs> I went king fishing down at uh, Montague and we managed to find a few and uh, we used lures and a few bits and pieces there. We used a little bit of bait. Uh, in the morning for, waiting for the tide to turn because with those kings down there at Montague if you don't get that water flow coming off, off uh, the flats you don't get get a bite so while we waited for that to happen we used bait and I got fairly stinky and yucky and I decided today that I'd try to give the bait uh, a bit of a miss so I'm going to go with soft plastics and some hard bodies today but I have got a few bait rigs in case I've got to throw a Hail, Hail Mary later on now I also wanted to ask is green lip abalone is that a species? I should have thrown my, my mask in because there's a few green lip abalone down through here. <laughs> is there? <laughs> fish is a fish, mate. <laughs> now, it's all species, any size. Whoa! Any yes. size, any legal fishing method. Yes. And everything's going to be scored on the Fishcoin app. And uh, it's best of three locations. Yeah, the vid the, and the. Uh, there's mum. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to drag the fish coin app out because I, I'm quite excited by it. I um, I haven't had as much exposure to it as I would have liked, but that's uh, what she looks like. And yeah, we're just going to simply uh, do an hour challenge at this particular spot. Is that correct? Or, or yeah. So so the challenge is uh, one hour at each. We've got three beach spots or three locations. It's going to be one hour at each spot and see how many points you can collect on the fish coin app that rewards you for catching fish just by taking a photo during the hour challenge and uh, the app will actually score your points for that fish. Now once we finish at this spot then we're going to head to another spot and we'll finish off at the third location. It's going to be who wins the combined score. Now we've got some great prizes from one of our partners down in Hobart 
the fisherman's shed. Oh, the, the, down there, Thomas at uh, Kingston. That's fantastic. He's yep. always active in the in the uh, fishing industry. We got some we've got some great prizes. Uh, they're either going to stay with me, or you're going to take them home. Hell, Jesus! I didn't realise we had prizes today. I don't know whether I've got me uh, special prize pack competition bag, but we'll see how we go. All right. um, one other thing is that you uh, might think that there's a hometown advantage because uh, I suggested this area, but this is the first time I've actually entered this spot from this track. It's a beautiful spot, I might add, I but I have fished out here in a boat, so. I love the way he's sort of making excuses already, so <laughs> let's get into them, mate. Too easy. Let's get out the fish coin up. Right, eight done. Go fishing. One hour, mate. Yep. Done. One hour. Yep, go. She's go time. Let's go. Counter started. Counter started. Right ho, well we've had a lure change already because I was a little bit a little bit light. Now I haven't caught a fish but I've seen some fish. I'm moving out through here. I like the back of the waves because see how it stirs the sand up when the waves come through. And I also like these rocks. They're all scattered out here so Hopefully there's a fish in here trying to ambush some bait. Bloody hooch is into them already. Okay, okay, might not be a big fish, but it's a fish. So, uh, yeah, the lure change. The lure change worked. Um, so, yeah, but also that's a cocky salmon. That's a juvenile Australian salmon. We're going to make a tactical play and keep this for bait, but we're also going to uh, log it on the app. There we go. Okay. That's loading. We might dispatch this uh, fish and keep him at the bait. Thanks for coming. And submit. Tide's actually coming in a bit quicker than I thought. We've got a bird working here after some bait fish. Let's uh, go and see what he's, what he's getting. You can see him diving over here. Well, he's not quite diving, but he's chasing something. Okay, so I've eaten up a little bit of time coming around those rocks, but I think it's going to work out. Not getting as many casts in uh, per minute at the minute, but we're going to try and work that broken ground out here. So hopefully I won't fall over getting out to it. Not going to lie, it's uh, pretty treacherous going. As you can see, it's uh, not really that easy to negotiate at the bottom, but now we've come onto the sand the broken edge between the rock scree and the sand is a little bit easier. So hopefully there's something lurking in these holes here. Let's see. It looks like Hooch is onto something. He's onto a fish. Oh no. Oh no, well that worked. We've uh, got a fish of some description. The only drama is my camera's back on the uh, camera's back on the shore. Oh, it's a stinking wrasse. It's a stinking wrasse. Mind you, that's a fish. But it's only a stinking wrasse. Come on man, let's not let's not behave badly. You're wetting me. Me and you can be friends, promise. So, uh, yeah. Go back to the phone and log that. There's not long left. We've got about five minutes to go. First location. I knew it was going to be tough, but wasn't expecting him to get one in front of us. We've got to uh, think tactics. 
I've got a few little tricks up the sleeve for the next spot. Ah, just got cooted. Either that or I got taken round the rocks. That's no good. Ah, well, better tie a new leader on. Josh asked me if I was competitive. Well, it's been a long time since uh, I've been standing man boob deep in the ocean trying to catch a fish in fully clothed with not me best shoes and negotiating some uneven ground. Just got that wrasse out of there, disappointing really because I busted my leader onto some fish that had a hell of a turn of a pace and uh, busted me off on a rock out there. Um, and of course the leader's on that rock up there which is a bit of a pain of bump. So we tied this mess for no good. Right, oh, with uh, seven minutes to go and the walk across the rocks, I might uh, might call that first session. Head over and see how Josh went. First hour done and dusted. No, I don't want to fall over here. She'd be quite a nasty bruise. How did you go? Donut, that's okay. It did promise, it promised a little bit down through there, but I was surprised there was no little flathead bites, you know. I, I went in here looking for salmon to get on the board yeah. only found the one but it was a cocky not a not a big one have you oh there you go yeah. you've been out here doing a recce you had a couple of hits and you just you're just talking about something just took you out to the rocks there somewhere yeah when i was out there off those rocks there i had, a, I had that hit of that ras and then i had a couple of other smaller hits so i went back out into that sandy stretch and i let it hit the bottom and rattled it just rattled it and then i hopped it as soon as i hopped it it got picked up and just peel drag and you know how sometimes the water uh the line little rooster tail off the line of it she's got to turn a <laughs> pace and and uh drag was paying out and then bang any popped, popped me off on the rocks out there any ideas what it might have been oh no idea but i mean could it have been a kingy could have been but the turn of pace it could have also been one of them uh eagle rays oh yeah because it was in that sort of area that would have been good fun if you because i was on a soft plastic and i have caught eagle rays on soft plastic before, but it had a serious turn of pace, whatever it was. We've got some horses down the beach down there. All right, location two, we're hitting uh, part of the river where it comes in now, oh, so. Yeah, she's on now. That was a good warm up. But that she's that on was now. a little warm up. It was always going to be tough as the tide started to turn, but now it's, she's halfway in and uh, look out, Hooch. Is there a section on the fish coin app for the wettest ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, off to spot number two. I think I might wind the window up. One, because the air conditioner works better, and two, the march flies here. Wow, they will carry you away. Josh has just pulled over because he's wondering what I'm doing. But yeah, we're off to spot two. So I've got an early lead, but um, you know, it's only a two fish lead with one baby salmon and a wrasse, so it's gonna take a little bit of protecting. It won't take long at this next spot if Josh starts to pick up a few fish. I made sure I got a new leader on and a lure ready to go straight out of the box because I think this particular spot could, could be a little bit hectic, fingers crossed. There we go. I'm a bit concerned you've gone down there for a stakeout. Okay. A stakeout. We, we might even nearly class that as an illegal pre-fish. Well, I've just rocked up at location two, Baker's Point boat ramp, and we're gonna head, the point's just here. Location two is that side, and location three is going to be this bay here. Let's go check out what Hooch is uh, putting on, just in case he starts catching them. What do you got, mate? Well, I was going to go the six pound trace and that little uh, lure there, but I'll save that for when we go up around the corner on the flats. This deeper section out here, I'm going to put my 20 pound leader on. 20 pound? Which is a little bit hectic. That's uh, my six pound. I'm not sure where my 20 pound is, but I'm going to put my 20 pound leader on and fire this big heavy sucker and try to cover some ground. Do you have any bait with you? Uh, I did have, but I don't have at the minute. I've got some. Oh, you're, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna fly the white flag already. I've got to do something on behind. It's 18 zip at the minute. Normally I don't do FG knots in light stuff, but because it's a competition, I'm gonna. So yep. I've got this technique where I do it in hand uh, and create the tension between my two fingers there. But this can be uh, seen on uh, YouTube. The best way to learn knots is on YouTube. And um, yeah, you use a lot of you use a lot of tongue. It's good for tongue dexterity. 
look away if you're prone to blushing. Yeah. Love this knot. I've not tied it in this finer stuff for a, a long while. And the good news is there's no wind. Because you, you don't think that wind would be a problem. But when you've got knots that have got two tag ends, you've got a mono tag end and you've got a braid tag end and then all of a sudden there's a bit of breeze, um, it's a full mess. Speaking of which, that's a bit looser than it's meant to be too, but anyway. So then what I normally do is pull that off the old uh, finger. That normally, you need to get that off, otherwise it'll drop drop off like a drop off like a lamb's tail. True to, true to uh, having that camera on, I've never caught my finger up like that ever before. That is quite random. Happy days. <clears throat> and so this is what I mean about the wind. If you've got too many tag ends she is a full mess so now I this is a risotto finish a lot of people finish them with uh, half hitches but I love this it's a whip finish really now you do a lot of uh, you do a lot of fly fishing I imagine you do whip finishes we do on a lot of flies again you need to look away because once you get that going around there, you basically unwind that back and that's what gives you your whip finish. Happy days. You can see why I'm struggling when it's not windy, let alone when it is windy. Yeah, we might have got some little intel here. This Cast is not a good sign, you're going the wrong way. Catching any? No. Well, what do they get? Little flathead, little flathead. Little flathead, they get anything out here? What? Oh yeah, some nice fish there occasionally. What sort? Salmon? Uh, salmon, flathead. Yeah, looks nice whiting if you're happy. Oh, whiting. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the uh, FG. I'll, I'll trim those tag ends and like I say, it makes me heinous doing it in like year. When I do it in 80 pound leader and, and uh, 50 pound braid, it's a lot easier. One hour. Ready? Hang on. Well, come bait on, let's you. go, let's go. <laughs> he's, he's pumped up, he's 18 up. Now I'm gonna keep the pressure on you, see? <laughs> go time. Go time, one hour. 18 plays zero, we're at Baker's Point boat ramp. Let's get out there and get in front of him. There's a few other fishermen here. These are This is what you can catch here. We're gonna go out to the we're gonna go out to the point just up here. Well, I don't really see why I can't start here. Anywhere is as good as anywhere. I like the idea that the uh, Jesus, that's a bit colder than the ocean. That river, that's amazing how much colder that water is. Although it's incoming tide. Uh, so there's a little bit of incoming water flow here. I'm sort of hoping there's gonna be some fish on the back edge of this channel. Start with these plastics and then after half hour we might get onto the bait if we need to. We're gonna try and get to this deep channel. Spot uh, looked good for a bit of water movement, but a lot of weed. So I'm going to try. There's a little bit of a sandy spit and falls into a deep hole here. I might try and see if I can ambush something coming in on the tide. This thing uh, was good for cover and distance in that faster water, but I think I'll go back to a soft plastic in here and try to puppeteer something out of here with a little bit of a rip, rip, jiggle, jiggle. We might get up behind him off that point. There looks like there's a deeper spot up. I'm not sure if you can see the two people up there having a swim.
Right, oh well, uh, this law is a floating law and it's a deep diver, so I was trying to bounce it off the bottom, but picking up too much weed. There's a lot of weed in the water column. So I'm going to go back to a soft plastic and try to rig it up a little bit weedless. I don't know how I'll go. Well, this weed is proving to be a bit of a pain, but if you can get a bit of a uh, cast through it, that's why I went back to a single hook. Uh, I'm just trying to hit the bottom and make that thing look like a crawdaddy. And maybe the fact that it's in and amongst the weed might be of benefit. It looks normal. Joshy's up there, testicles deep, trying to find something to put on the board. I haven't heard too much yahooing and carrying on, so I'd say he's fishless, a bit like myself, battling the weed. Guys, I think it's time for some bait. Still got him, but we'll better bring it in and check. But, damn, we just had a hit. Good sign, good sign. Get it back out there. Hey Hoots, the rock count? <laughs> Damn. Right, so I'm going to head back down. I've tried that area up there. Uh, the technique of putting on that soft plastic worked okay. It wasn't as weedy as what it was with the lure with the trebles, but with six minutes to go at this spot, I'm going to try off the back of this sandbar here. Maybe. See how we go. Well, I think this could be the last cast. Oh shit, yeah, definitely the last cast. Good thing that was an old law. Not some of my best work there. Tangled around the tip, but basically the story of that session. Misery. I don't think uh, I don't think Josh has done any good there, so. I think this last round we might have uh, Battle of the Bait. I might never talk to Joshy and see if we can't find a little spot to soak some bait. You would hope a lot of weed out there. A lot of weed. It's, been a, it's always weedy out here. I would hope that it might slow down a little bit, but I would think that these static bait rigs sitting in the water and the water going past, we're going to see a lot of weed. Well, I'm going to run with a soft plastic just to start with and see if I can get myself a trevally or something. Whoa, it's exciting. And uh, location two over and done with. Both, end, both ends up with a donut. That's okay though. Ho Hooch reckons he had a bump, but uh, I, I think had a little bump, yeah. Mid, he's still mid session. I think he's trying to uh, keep that Sock pressure out. on. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, it was a couple little bumps and this went back to the same spot. Nothing. Hooch is running with the with the bait this time. We've got from here right through, and I think we're gonna. This sit, bait, this sit. bait seems to be burly as well as bait. <laughs> oh man, that's got a bit going on. Yeah, I don't know what's. Uh, I don't know what it is. What well, squid? <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty wild. Right, oh, here we go. Session three. Hit the logo. Go fishing, one hour, yep. three, Let's two, one, bang. Right on, mate. 18 points down. 18 points down. Didn't neither of us trouble the scorers on that last last one. I'll tell you what, 
if uh, we had a rule that you had to eat some of that bait, if we don't catch a fish, we might lift our game a bit, because by Jesus, that's got a bit on. That's some good news. We just walked past a couple of guys and they have caught some cocky salmon recently. So there's salmon out here. Let's see if we can get some. Okay, so I've got my bait in that uh, sort of a bit of a drop away, fall away there. So there's a flat, sandy flat there and it drops into that bit of a deeper part there. But there's also a little bit of a back current. So I'm sort of hoping that there's not as much weed there, but I'm sort of out there. Fingers crossed, no bites as yet. That skate that I saw earlier, I'll take that. He can come along and bite. Okay, well I've made myself a little bit of a bush rod rack there and back to drag off and I'm just going to basically uh, I've cast my arm off the last two spots this spot I'm out here I've got the bait out and I'm just going to uh, let it do its work because basically I don't really want to touch that octopus again I mean squid because it's got a bit on but I'm going to go and sit up in the shade here and enjoy what is a relaxing session fishing all we need is a fish. Currently I've got a lead but that can be gobbled up pretty quickly. So fingers crossed. Here you are. Catch any? Oh, a little flatty. Little flatty. Oh man I've dug myself a little bit of a uh, bum shaped hole in the sand here and I've got myself uh, the Johnson recliner waiting for all manner of activity to unfold on that rod tip. I can see the rod tip. I could probably even see the back of my eyelids. I had a pretty late night last night, but I better not. I didn't bring any bells. Often when I'm bait fishing, I like to put some bells on the rod because you can tend to nod off. It's so relaxing. Looks like there's been some kids dig something here. Uh, either that or that's the biggest uh, lookout. <laughs> Feel comfortable, mate. Yeah, no, I'm comfy. You come around there with a bit of swagger, I thought you might have had a fish. Not yet, but there's action. I need bait. Oh, was there? Talk me through it. These guys are getting a few, couple of cocky salmon and stuff like that, so. Bait it is. Right, you're going to the bait. I'm, I'm already soaking a bit of bait. Nice spot. <laughs> You guys have taught me into getting some bait on. Come on, we need two fish. Okay, well we're probably halfway through this session and there's been plenty of bites. Unfortunately, not on the rod, mainly marsh flies. So if you're in this area, uh, make sure you bring some fly repellent, mosquito repellent or some sort of anti anti bug spray because uh, yeah March flies got a bit on. There ain't much happening at the minute. Haven't seen Hooch catch any yet. I don't think he's caught any. There's 18 minutes left and we, got, we need two fish. And don't forget the last 10 minutes is worth maximum points so if I get one net for the next few minutes and then one in the last 10 minutes we could outdo him if he doesn't catch one. I think I'm going to have to reset again because uh, I was out there and now I reckon I've got a fair bit of weed on me whole show. So, uh, 
<laughs> Better warm the drag up. And have a bait check. Oh, I hope I don't have to touch that bait. I was going to wander down and uh, change spots, but you know what? Given the fact that that bait is so stinky and I think it'll be behaving a bit like burly, uh, I might just leave it in the water in one spot. Not sure how Josh is going, but uh, he hasn't been back, so maybe he's on some fish. <laughs> He's smiling. Uh, heaps. Heaps. Mainly March flies. Now, how'd you go down there? Ah, oh, interesting. I think the fact that he's back might mean that he didn't do any good down there. It'd be interesting if he's left fish to find fish. That's not ideal. I've had a couple of swims up to my navel. And uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And the fish uh, coin app just adds another little dimension to it. It's uh, very interesting. The first time I've uh, had a competition, I quite enjoyed it. I might um, set it up with my mates when we're on the boat next time because um, we often have competitions on the boat. Uh, often we'll have first fish, most fish, and uh, biggest fish, and that sort of thing. We just do it by memory, but it'll be cool to uh, have the app on the boat and everyone sort of play and compete against each other. So, yeah, very good concept. I like it. It's worth having a look. So I suggest you have a look, get your head around it. Meanwhile, back to the action. Crawdaddy. Okay, with five minutes to go, we've got ourselves a bit of a Hail, Mer Hail uh, Mary rig. I'm, uh, oh, there's that FG knot. That's that FG knot that um, took me 10 minutes to tie. But uh, yeah, the Hail Mary rig is going to be the old surf popper on the, uh, on one of the tag ends of a double uni. Please don't hate. Please don't hate on it. Now, it'd be nice if I had bought me glasses because I'm old. I'm the shell of a man I once was. You fly fishermen would know all about that. Man, oh man, getting old, trying to, trying to tie knots. It's bad enough in heavy mono, let alone all that fly fishing tiny stuff. So what we've got here is a little popper. Uh, and a fairly heavy something or other so we can cover a bit of ground. A bit of a hot tip is don't leave your phone in your pocket when you're about to wade out into the salty brine. What we call a flopper dropper, this one's called the popper dropper. The popper dropper. Now at the minute it just seems to be something else to catch the weed but anyway hopefully it might excite a bite. I'll film this one because sometimes Murphy's Law states that if you're filming you might get a hookup. Where are these schools? Oh what happened? Goodbye. <laughs> yep. In the dying minutes. Oh really? No time for you to tie on a lure, right? Oh, this is it. Come on. Let's go. 45 seconds, dying moments. I'll get one more cast in before the buzzer. The the popper dropper. It's done nothing, and we'll send it far and wide. This is the final cast. Mars will film it. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. That's the secret. That's the secret. Then rip it, rip it and grip it. And no hits. And this looks like the last of it. Come on. Last cast. 
What happened? I've had my last cast and the the popper dropper delivered nothing. Promised the world, delivered nothing. And the final stages. You did a good job though to get that lure on for the final cast. Right oh. Good bit of fun, I enjoyed that. There's all that stinking weed that I've been having trouble with. Oh. Oh yeah, I'd definitely be. I wouldn't be taking that octopus or squid or whatever the hell it is anywhere. I'd be probably just, yeah. How'd you go, mate, on that last one? Yeah, no good. I, I decided that uh, I was going to take it easy after casting my arm off on, on uh, spot two for no result. And I just basically soaked bait for a while. <laughs> but didn't do any good. Well, I went around the corner yeah, right. and, and uh, had a little chat to a couple of people. Ooh. And uh, they said they caught a whiting. Ooh. They caught cocky salmon. Yes. There's one other, other small little flathead. So I went round, grabbed the bait, and uh, went back around there. The bait slash burly. Bait slash burly. And uh, I still ended up with a donut. Oh no! <laughs> I did actually say, when you come round there, I thought to myself, I don't reckon you've left fish to find fish. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, mate, you have taken around. You have taken it out you've beat me 18 points to zero i'll tell you what for a couple of blokes that fish a fair bit we put on a fairly lindy performance but <laughs> i'll tell you what as an ordinary day it was fishing i had a lot of fun and the app sort of made that fun height you know what yeah. i mean like fishing's fun and i do it for fun and quite often i do it for work or i do it because we're promotional staff for someone but that was really good fun so uh if you guys haven't got the app yet, you can download it from the link in the description um, or just search for it on the app stores called Fish Coins. Free download, create your profile and every time you catch fish, take a photo of your fish and start collecting points because you might end up be able to buy yourself a coupon from our great partners down in Hobart at the Fisherman's Shed. And mate... Oh, prizes! Prizes! That's wild. You have uh, won yourself. My own body weight and soft plastics. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. So, uh, congrats again. No, thank you. Thanks for being a champion. Thanks for showing up and. Uh, Good day out. You're going down next time. Okay. Be cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button and give that notification bell a hit. And uh, we will see you at the next episode.